This is Kano girl. Look at how she, she has one foot on the deck and her bad foot and toe she's putting over the edge. It must feel good. Swagger down the street with your red lips and funky beat. You better hold your head up to the sky. I'm gonna roll with you to the day. It was a squirrel. When we hear a sudden sound in the leaves, the way she reacted is because you don't know if it's a hawk coming down. This guy, his hand, it's like he's healing as a skeletal hand. He has no fur and I'm not even sure he has skin on it, but he's perky and look at him. He's up there, he's even using the hand. When he runs, he only uses the three paws, but that's good to avoid infection. I don't know, it might just heal. It might just heal. And I love this guy. I love this guy. This guy or girl is so smart. The one with the hand problem. I never did take video before, before the hand thing happened. He or she would come in the house, take a nut, and just stop and look at me on his hind legs. And he still does it, or she. I was just editing video for the YouTube channel and on the verge of just saying, screw it, I'll just upload the raw footage. And then I felt a little nose on my foot and I looked down and it's Rover. So I decided editing video is not so important as is taking care of the squirrels. We're just hanging with them, not even taking care. But you know, just the good feeling you get sitting like this. I think a lot of people think it's all about the food, but it isn't. They really like human companionship. Some of them, not all. Some of them, it is an exchange. But some of them, I think they like having someone. Because how else do you explain? Rover doesn't have to sit here between my feet and eat. And all the times she lets me pet her. I was just petting her this morning. Here comes Rio down a tree here. That's another one I protect a lot when she comes because especially with the mating going on and Rio being challenged she gets really and she's riffraff by squirrel rules so she gets really chased. Rio has once again come to find me and we already dealt with one hawk alert or was it two? No it was two because it was one when she was over there one. Oh, two. Rover and I are in hurry up mode here. I have to hurry up and hang a new home because neighbors are chopping down a tree and I don't know if anyone sleeps in it. I need to get this thing up. I have like an hour. Is this Kendall girl? No, this is the other girl that looks like Kendall girl. Oh no, it's the other girl that doesn't look like Kendall girl or the girl that looks like Kendall girl. Okay, anyway, I gotta do this thing. There's Pippi standing on the drill. She just, she's so funny. She's watching the neighbors. Pips. Here comes the pips. Are you gonna come up on the new home? Oh, you're gonna come up on the tool bag, okay. <laughs> she loves to play. Okay, I don't know if anyone remembers Bobby Brown and his running around rumors, but our Bobby Brown also runs around. This is his sister, I believe, on the tree. Wait, no, this is Bobby Brown. So how did Bobby get in the back? Bobby, are you a girl? It might be Bobby Brown with an eye, which would be the makeup artist, not the make-out artist. There you go. Are you a girl, Bobby Brown? I didn't know that. I thought you were a boy. Oh. Okay, it is far from perfect here, but... Um it's not perfect, but it's gonna get the 
someone through the night if they just lost a tree today. There it is on the inside. It's got a shelf. And up there is the way to get in. And I'm going to put some leaves in it. I learned from the best how to gather leaves for a squirrel home. I used to watch Hansi do it. And she was very selective. Oh, crap. She was very selective about dry, awesome leaves. The nut is by my foot and they're afraid or my shoe and they're afraid of shoes. Who is this? He's afraid. He's afraid to get it. Oh, this is Neely. Hey Neely. She so rarely climbs. Back to our dude. He sees the nut, but it's by my shoe. They I used to have videos on this, or at least one, of them being afraid of my shoes. If they're disembodied from my feet, it just freaks them out. He knows it's there. He'd rather not eat a nut than have to go up to my shoe. Okay, I'm gonna put the shoes in the middle of the deck. You got a little thing happening here. Three guesses who's in front, the boy or the girl. Yeah. The boy got distracted, wanted some water. How does that girl feel right now? He loves me. He loves me not if there's water around. He's telling his girlfriend, you're number one, baby, except for water. All right, here's our new little finger smelling friend. Okay. You ready? You want to smell my finger? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come and smell my finger. Oh, no. Now he didn't do it. Oh, Mrs. Brown want to come up? There you go. How about you? You want to come up? No, you're just too freaked out. There are all these boys that are new to the plantain plantation here. Plantain. There's, there you go. I got people everywhere. Is this Meals? Hey, Neely. She comes a ways to get here. Look at that tail. Here's, yeah, one of you. One of you. There's now several greys that live off in the down the lane position, so I have a hard time knowing who's Supergirl. But when, Su when Supergirl grabs my hands a certain way, it's unmistakable. Here's the guy. Here's the guy with the bad paw but he's doing great he is just hopping hopping around and enjoying life so i'm hoping he heals for sure um this might be supergirl yeah You want to go get it by my shoe? No, he left it. He left it. He started to get it, saw my shoes and freaked out. He'd rather chase a squirrel than go get a nut near my shoes. Anywhere near my shoes. There you go. Sorry, I know you're afraid of shoes. It's just built in. Oh, wrong side. Oh, I gotta get it open. I gotta get it open. Oh, you got it. Sorry, I almost sent you flying, didn't I? There you go. <laughs> I kicked a shell off the deck and she went chasing the shell thinking it was a nut and almost flew off the deck. There you go. Somebody's coming. It's Roby. It's Miss Rovester. And yes, as Paula said, she's always about, which I love, she was always about more when she lived right by the deck. When she lived right by the deck, she was around more, but uh, I think the Browns have infiltrated her place. I'm not sure quite where she's living right now. Mrs. Brown just went up to my shoes and sniffed them and ran the other way. Who's this coming up? So soft, feather light. Feather light, is that Mealy Mouth or Condo Girl? That's Condo Girl, right? Yeah. 
soft, soft little condo girl. Let's look at her toesy. I've started thinking maybe instead of losing a toe, maybe one got infected. I'm not sure what's going on here, but there was a lot of blood. Maybe she did lose one. Oh, it's the other foot. I'm looking at the wrong foot. That's why. Yeah, she's got one toe is really big. I think it's the little toe that's really, yeah, look at it. It's just all strange. I don't, I don't know what to make of it here. But it's chasing people around and doing like she does. She just climbed my leg couple minutes ago and I videoed that it's I don't think she'd really done that since this particular injury I hope she doesn't jump off my leg onto the ground okay good it's Mrs. Brown ran away from the shoes again. The shoes stand alone. That's Pippi. No one's gonna get near those. She must be getting her wheels back if she's jumping up. I mean. Hey, Mrs. Brown, go check out my shoes after you leave here. Nope. Hey, little one. This is a little guy. They just fly when they're little. Well, Pippi flies too, and here comes Condo Girl. This is not going to go well. She grabbed it. Pippi grabbed it. She got what she needed. This is Sweet Eyes. You gonna come up? You wanna try coming up? Here, you go. You take that. You guys, you guys, take your nuts and go, cause we're gonna try doing a climb. Come here, come here. 